What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at some of Otterbox's more popular cases. We have the Tank, aka the Defender Pro, Commuter Series, Symmetry Plus, which is MagSafe compatible, and then we also have the Pop Socket version. If you guys commute a lot, the Pop Socket definitely comes in handy. Let's check out these four cases from Otterbox and see what they're all about for the iPhone 14 Pro. Let's go ahead and start with the tank, aka the Defender Pro. It's four times military standard tested. You get that multi-layer defense again. This is going to put a whole new frame, a whole plastic shell around your phone that really gives you that extra protection. And it's made with more than 50% recycled materials. That's definitely a huge plus. MagSafe devices are not going to work on this, but wireless charging does work. So that's definitely a huge plus. And you also get that holster, you get that kickstand, you get a lot of good features with the Defender Pro. So if you guys are looking for a case that you can just throw on your belt and, and forget about it, this is definitely a case that I'd recommend for you guys. So let's just go ahead and remove it and kind of check it out together. So once again, this does come with a belt clip and a lot of you like belt clips. Now, I'm not a huge fan of belt clips, but I'm definitely a huge fan of kickstands. So this multi-purpose belt clip just kind of snaps into place and you can lay your phone on the table and watch some videos while you're waiting for your train or whatnot. So this definitely comes in handy guys and it is a sturdy, it's a little sturdy kickstand. It's definitely going to hold up your phone, no doubt about that. And when you're ready, just go ahead and unsnap it and it turns back into that handy belt clip. It is a, a multi-layered defense mechanism, I like to call it. So here's your plastic shell. This is something that's going to give you a little bit more protection, of course, because you are encasing your entire phone in this plastic shell here. And you do have some soft foam-like material on the inside to kind of, kind of help protect your phone from getting all scratched up. And then this is your outer layer once again, nice soft TPU material. So let's go ahead and get my phone and kind of check it out together. Now it is held into place by all these little clips. When you do take this case apart, just make sure you don't damage those clips. That's not going to be a lot of fun. Pop in your phone just like that and then go ahead and snap your phone back into place just like this. Now I will mention, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on my phone. Usually cases that have frames, they're not really gonna work with tempered glass because eventually you are gonna press down on these pressure points on the corner. So in my experience, the tempered glass might, might work for a week or two, but eventually it does pop up. So if you do want some sort of screen protection, I'd recommend you guys just put on a, maybe like a plastic screen guard. I'll leave some recommendations down in my description below. Once you've snapped it into place, all you have to do is go on in, get this tongue and groove action to do its thing. Pretty, pretty simple. And you can see my tempered glass is kind of peeling up already. That's just, that's just the nature of the beast, if you will. It's just how it goes with these framed cases, I like to call them. You are putting a lot of pressure on those corners. And again, this is a tank, this is a beast. This is definitely, definitely a case I recommend for a lot of you that drop your phone, you have kids, you work in construction, or you just want a case that's gonna keep your phone protected for the long term. This is the OtterBox Pro once again. Now take a look at your back camera protection. Your cameras are all protected. No problems with that camera protection. And on the front, once again, because you do have this frame, you are getting a nicer amount of protection because you're getting kind of like a raised lip all around your phone, all around the corners, all around the screen. So you're getting a nice amount of front lip protection. Dropping your phone face first, you shouldn't have a problem with this tank. And again, just take a look at the front lip protection as they give you the 360 bird's eye tour. And you can also see on the sides, you have these nice ridges. So that really helps with, really helps with gripping this case, gripping your phone with the OtterBox Defender Pro. And the back, not slippery at all. Now, it doesn't add a huge amount of bulk as, as you'd probably imagine this would be a bulky case, but I think they did a nice job in keeping it thin while maintaining a, a, nice, a nice amount of protection. Buttons feel really nice, no problems with these buttons. And with the Defender Pro, your phone doesn't rock too much. A little bit of rockiness, but not, not a crazy amount of, of rockage, if you will. So I think they did a nice job with the Defender Pro here. Now let's just kind of check out wireless charging. Once again, this is not going to work with any MagSafe compatible devices, but we should be able to get wireless charging to work. And there we go, wireless charging is working, but MagSafe obviously is not going to work on any of these cases. Putting the Defender Pro in the belt clip, you can either, either put it with the screen in towards your body. This is something I definitely recommend. Just gives you a little bit more protection, and it does stay in this belt clip very, very securely. And the belt clip itself, super sturdy, no problems with this belt clip. But as I showed you earlier on in the beginning, you do have this multi-function kind of stand. So once again, just kind of snap it on into place like that. Place your phone on a table, watch some, watch some favorite videos, do whatever you guys need to do. 
So again, very sturdy. I like the multifunctionness of the Defender Pro I always have, and this is a case that I can recommend. But let's move on to another case because maybe you guys don't want all this much, all this much protection. Maybe you're just a commuter like the case suggests and you want something that's going to be with you as you go on your daily business. This is three times drop protected. You do have that dual layer protection. Covers the ports and dust just like the Defender Pro, which is something I forgot to mention. You do have these little port covers and the commuter as well. Wireless charging compatible, pocket friendly design. It is a little bit slimmer than the Defender Pro, so this will fit in pockets 100% for sure. And you do get some long lasting antimicrobacterial protection. Little OtterBox logo right there. So once again, it is a two part case, a little bit thinner than the Defender Pro, but kind of the same type of idea, just without that frame design. On the inside, you see a little air pocket design right on that side. And you can see it on the other side right there. Drop plus and nice hard shell with some ridges. Keeps your phone kind of flat on a table. I like to install the inner part of this case first just because just you can really wrap the edges, wrap the corners around any type of tempered glass that you might have. And as I show you this, you can see the corners are a little more reinforced. You can see that on each of those corners. You get a little bit more reinforcement. So well done to OtterBox for this. And then all you need to do now is kind of put in that hard shell, just like so. And this is the commuter, guys. This is definitely a more manageable, more pocketable type of, type of case protection, and you're still getting a, a very good amount of protection for your phone. As you see the back camera protection, you see your cameras are protected. So no problems with this camera protection. You can see that right there. And on the front, you're getting a very, very nice amount of front lip protection. As I give you the 360 bird's eye tour, you can see all of that nice front lip protection. And it seems to be playing very nicely with this tempered glass that I have. So if you drop your phone face first or you just place it down on a table, it's not going to scratch up. You definitely get a healthy, healthy amount of front lip protection on the commuter. So I really like this case. This has always been one of my favorites. And as you can see on the side there, you also do get some ridges and your buttons. Very, very easy to press. And on the other side as well, here's your power button. Super, super easy to press as well. Now this isn't going to rock as much either. Tiny bit of rockage, a little bit more than Defender Pro, but it's still not, still not overly rockable on the table. So I think they did a nice job. And again, I like these ridges on the side. It, it helps when you are holding the phone in your hand, but it also helps kind of keep your phone, keep your phone on a table and not vibrate off. So I think they did a nice job there. Once again, port covers, definitely something that OtterBox likes to do with these commuter cases. And I actually appreciate a port cover. If you're all about that wireless charging lifestyle, you definitely don't need any, you don't need to open up that port. Taking a look at wireless charging, as we mentioned, wireless charging. Wireless charging is working, so no problems with wireless charging. But MagSafe, once again, is not going to work on this case. It's not designed to be MagSafe compatible. But again, guys, this is the commuter. I really like this commuter case. It gives you a very good amount of protection while, while keeping it somewhat thin. Not really a super bulky case, and I've, I've always enjoyed commuter cases once again. But another case that I've always enjoyed is their Symmetry series. I like seeing my phone, and I also like that this is MagSafe compatible and, of course, wireless charging. So you do get three times tested that military, military standard. And again, 50% recycled materials, so that's definitely a huge plus. Thank you, OtterBox. Now, this is a clear Symmetry. They have many other additions, so check my link down below if you're interested in, in any of these cases. You can see that there. Here's your ring for MagSafe accessories. Super, super clear case. And you can see on your front, your front lip protection as they give you the 360 bird's eye tour. This is playing pretty nicely with my screen protector as well. And you're getting a, a good amount of front lip protection, not as much as the commuter. This is a little bit thinner, but you can see that front lip protection there. No port covers on this style case. And your back, your camera is protected. You get that raised camera lip right on the back there. Little company branding that says OtterBox on that side. But again, super, super clear case. Very nice looking if you ask me. I think this is a really nice looking case. And it's not slippery. I don't know what they've done here, but this is not a slippery clear case. This is, this is definitely something that I'm easily able to grip. No problems with grippability on, this, on the Symmetry Plus here. And then you'd be happy to know that wireless charging and MagSafe compatibility is definitely here on the Symmetry Plus case. So let's kind of wait for wireless charging to work. There it is. And here's your magnets. Super, super strong. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. It's not coming off. So MagSafe accessories, no problems with the Symmetry Plus case. So for those of you that like a nice clear case, 
I'm definitely digging the symmetry. You get a nice amount of protection. You're getting that outer box protection, getting that MagSafe compatibility, and of course, all of your buttons feel really nice. No problems with these buttons. So this is a Symmetry Plus case, guys. Let me know what you think about that one. Now, the last case we're gonna take a look at is a Symmetry case as well, but this is their Pop Socket Edition. Now, I know a lot of people like Pop Sockets. If you're walking around in, in a very, very busy environment like I am here in New York City, having a Pop Socket is just an easy way to kind of ensure that your phone isn't gonna drop out when someone bumps into you, which is a daily occurrence here. If you're on the subway, if you're on the metro, if you're taking Metro North, whatever you're doing, Having, having something that's a little bit more sturdy in your hand is something that a lot of people like. And not to mention, it can also be used as a little kickstand. So it's a win-win situation in my book. When it comes to the Pop Socket Edition, this is more of a plasticky feeling, plasticky type of case. It's not really, it's not really giving you that commuter kind of two-layer protection. This is more of a rigid plastic. Just want to let you guys know that. It's definitely a different style case, but let's go ahead and install my iPhone. Taking a look at the Pop Socket Edition, I think this is giving you the least amount of front lip protection here. And it seems to be pulling up my tempered glass just a little bit on this corner and on the other corner as well. Now, it could be my tempered glass, guys. Not, not every tempered glass that says it's case friendly is actually case friendly. But I just want to let you guys know with the tempered glass that I have, it's, it's not, really, not really working too well with it. Now, again, this tempered glass, I do have to give you a disclaimer. It, it doesn't seem... Doesn't seem like they left enough space on the bottom. Seems like they left enough space on the top, but the bottom's a little bit too much. I am gonna switch out a tempered glass. I have a couple more that I'm gonna test out. So I'll let you know down below if it works with any of those others. But with this one that I have here, it's definitely pulling it up. But once again, take a look at the front lip protection. This one, you're not getting as much lip protection as the other cases, but it's still enough to protect your, your front screen from getting scratched up. You can see that there, front lip protection little branding that says OtterBox, and you do have this nice channel that goes all around the case. I quite, I quite like how that looks personally. It's probably gonna be a dust and lint collector, but I like the design. I think they did a nice job with that. Buttons feel really nice, no problems with these buttons. And of course, your cutouts are perfect. OtterBox branding on, this, on the bottom there. But again, guys, it's all about the pop socketness. You can see that here, you're walking around the street, you're texting, you can, you can really grip onto your phone, no problems with that at all. And when you want to watch something, all you have to do is prop it up. So again, I think it's win-win. So if you're out and about and you want to watch some YouTube videos, or you're just waiting for that special someone to call you, you don't have to keep looking at your phone. Just prop it up. And this is going to do a nice job letting you see your phone without having to pick it up, guys. So definitely a nice job. And as I just show you the back, here's your camera protection. So no problems with that camera protection. Now they do say wireless charging compatible. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work because of the pop socket on the back. So let me just kind of see if it does work with wireless charging. And surprise, surprise, it does work with wireless charging. So for those of you that want to want to wirelessly charge over that socket, you can go ahead and do so. But of course, MagSafe accessories are not going to work. They're not advertising that it will. But I like this addition once again. I see a lot of people with pop sockets. Let me know what you think about the pop socket. Are you a pop socketer or not? but I'm more of like a kickstand person. That's just my thought. This has been a look at some cases from OtterBox, guys. Once again, you have the commuter, you have the tank, the Defender Pro, Symmetry Plus with MagSafe compatibility, and then you also have the Pop Socket Edition Symmetry as well. What do you think about all these cases? Let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know down there as well. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in another video.